Welcome back in builders. We have RimWorld Anomaly preview number three. This is a short one, but it's a bit of a doozy. I don't even want to show the name here because it is going to spoil some things for you. If you're a person that does not want to see and wants to go into the DLC blind, yeah, click off right now. Don't don't watch this video. <laughs> Preview number three, cultists hate chanters and rituals. Something wicked this way comes. This is relating to the dark Arcotech. That is kind of the, seems to be the root cause of the anomaly content. And this has to do with cults. So there's an insane cult that worships the dark Arcotech. Because of course there is. And we're going to cover several different things that they're going to do. Some new rituals, some new powers, really cool stuff. If you were in on Anomaly before, you're really going to be in on it now. Cult rituals. In ideology, they've added rituals, which were like, generally speaking, social gatherings, customizable, so hopefully these will be too. But now we have a darker one. These are like psychic rituals or cult rituals. And of course, immediately, just to make people worried, sometimes they'll perform a ritual by abducting one of your colonists by teleporting the victim to them, called skip abduction. Uh, you can't just let us be happy, can you? <laughs> so, for these rituals, one of the things I really liked about this was that we're going to have access to the same rituals. So, right away, that should mean that modders are going to have an absolute field day. So if you had a favorite mod that did more psychic stuff or did magic stuff, I bet you there's going to be really good things coming. You can do the same rituals as them. It looks like we have to build like a special ritual room. We have a ritual spot different than our regular spot. Actually, I take that back. I don't know if it needs to be different. It might be able to be the same one. And you can surround it with different biopherite sculptures, which if you remember was the material we got from some of the anomalies. And you can build like these creepy statues and these void beacons to increase the power of your rituals. They've added a ceremonial hood and a cultist mask. I also note that these guys have maybe tentacle arms. I'm not sure what these would be. Otherwise, it doesn't look like a weapon or anything. That's interesting. Flesh beast tentacles, I assume. You can perform three basic rituals. We can draw shamblers, which are those zombie-like creatures. We can draw animals, and we can have void provocation. So I assume that means I'll start void events for you. Regional rituals seem like they're... Saying regional makes me think it would affect like an area on the world map, but I think these are basically map-wide. You have the pleasure pulse which basically makes your psychically sensitive colonists happier, but it makes their desire to work less. We have the Neurosis Pulse, which is the opposite. So it drives your colonists to work really, really hard, and it decreases their need for recreation, but it doesn't make them happier. So you're more likely to end up driving them to a mental break. And finally, this one I thought was very interesting, Blood Rain causes blood-like psychofluid to fall from the sky and drives exposed animals and humans into a berserk fury. Be prepared if you must use this, putting all but the psychically deaf under shelter. We've had for a while different levels of psychic sensitivity, including psychically deaf, but generally speaking, it hasn't particularly been a, a penalty to be psychically deaf. It's, it's pretty much a benefit. You don't have to worry about the psychic drones and if you're getting targeted by different psychic abilities, it can help protect you. Because generally, psychic abilities scale on your sensitivity, not the caster's sensitivity. So I could see a really interesting scenario where either you're using a lot of blood rains or you just set up the scenario to do it on its own. And you have a colony that's divided between the psychically deft and the psychically sensitive. Could be kind of an interesting scenario to play. We also have what they're calling individual rituals, and these are basically rituals that are targeted on pawns. So we have imbued death refusal, which basically means if you die, you can just resurrect yourself. And it seems like you'll probably go crazy if, you, if you're using that. We also have chronophagy, psychophagy, philophagy, and brain wipe, which basically is you can steal people's youth, you can steal people's skills, and you can wipe their brain. So you can remove, I believe it's going to like reset the pawn essentially. 
So quite interesting there. And you can see they've got a whole list of different rituals that you can do. One that they didn't mention above is Provoke Pit Gate. And there's also this Void Provocation. And notice there's that tentacle again. That looks like it's the same icon. So I'm curious to know what that is going to be doing. My gut tells me it's just going to force a event, like a Void event to spawn randomly. So if you're impatient and you want something to happen, but who knows, that could, that could be something pretty crazy. So, and that's really it. It's a really short uh, preview. I, I do think that this was a, a pretty decent one. Me personally, I, I like this. I'm more excited, I think, for what other mods are gonna use it for than the stuff I'm particularly seeing here. Not that it's bad or anything. I think these are interesting enough. I'm not a huge fan of the, they can just target one of your pawns with a, a teleportation ritual. I hope we have, I'd assume that would mean that if you're psychically deaf, you'd be immune to it. And hopefully there'll be some way to counter that, whether you could maybe have an, uh, an item that prevents skipping, aka teleportation, or some sort of gear like the tinfoil hat or something. I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm excited for that. Um, I'm curious to see what's going to be in number four. Me personally, my, my number one wish that we haven't seen yet is still just some regular use stuff in the DLC. So you've got the DLC, it's turned on, but you haven't activated the void content. I hope there's some interesting things. I still things like the uh, hood and things like that would work. I'm curious to know, can you do the rituals if you haven't started the content? Like you probably wouldn't be getting this bioferrite particularly because it's going to come from anomalies, but maybe you could trade for it or something. Be quite interesting. I'm I'm really hoping that we see some decent integration too. Um, I know in the past they they didn't want DLCs to build on top of each other. They wanted each DLC to basically be standalone so that you weren't forced to buy every single DLC. But the problem was that felt very strange. It did not mesh well. So hopefully they will follow their recent pattern and we'll see some ideology things added for these. Like you want to be in a cult or et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully we will see some new genes added like flesh beast genes, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully we will see some, I'm not sure if royalty particularly needs it, but could be interesting there. Maybe you have like some dark empire characters who are into this or things like that. I don't know. I, I do feel that you need to integrate those DLCs because it felt very weird when they weren't. And biotech really benefited when they went back and added just a few little tweaks. And it was mostly, I think, an ideology that you had the vampire meme, you had the the different superiority things. It felt a lot better once they went back and did that. Overall, very short preview here. Pretty packed with information. I, I think it, what we were previewed was very cool. And I'm excited. We are less than a week away from release. For those of you willing to brave the darkness that is spoilers, are you still excited for this? Is this getting you more excited? I'm seeing more and more people comment that they are really super excited for this. So glad for those people that they're getting some content that they like. And I'm seeing less people that are worried. So either people have dropped off or maybe the previews have allayed their fears a little bit. So I'm curious to see what people have to say below. Share your thoughts on that. And let's get hyped for preview number four and release in less than a week.